It's a punchy native hard light with a long throw. And also, powerful native soft light with beautiful colour and smooth low end dimming. It's flexible because it's modular. And it checks all the boxes for advanced programming. Plus, it's completely weatherproof. As you can see, there's so many things to discover. The development of this fixture was guided by the wishes of VPs, gaffers, rentals, console programmers, and independent filmmakers. And so, we thought that they should be the ones introducing the new SkyPanel X to you. Hello, my name's Harlem. I've been using Sky Panels avidly for the last couple of years. So when Ari rang me up and asked me to have a look at their new light, I jumped at the chance. I want to show you what this can do. First of all, it's built incredibly sturdy and incredibly robust. The front of the lamp has a glass cover to protect the LED diodes from any nasty knocks, bumps, rain, wind, anything. Because of that, and because of the intensity of the actual lamp, you can use it as an amazing bounce. It can also be turned into a beautiful key light with the X21 dome, which is comes standard with the light. With the effortlessly toolless process of snapping it on. What else this light can do is the color spectrum, which is down to a six color engine, can go from 1,500 Kelvin all the way up to 20,000 Kelvin, which is double that of the S60. If you have existing products with the S60s, they have produced an adapter so you can use all the existing products with this new lamp. And you can add all the old accessories available for the S60 into it. And that is not all it can do. Hi, my name's James Friend, I'm a cinematographer, and I'm very proud to say about three months ago, Ari invited me to test their new SkyPanel X, which is part of the new SkyPanel family, which is a pretty game-changing lamp as far as I'm concerned. You know, I've been using Sky Panels for years, ever since they've been released, and it really did open up creatively and uh, technically you kind of re-engineer the way I, I approached um, lighting on, on stage and on location. This one is... Um, is truly spectacular, not only because it's IP rated, but also the major bonuses for, for me, for this lamp, is one of the accessories called the Hyper Optic. And it consists of 72 individual lenses, which can fit natively on the rectangular source. And what it does is it gives you an extremely high performance, high output focal sphere. And to demonstrate it properly, we're going to go outside. So you can see here that it's taking a rectangular unit, but it's projecting a, a circular beam, like a, like a spotlight, essentially, which is absolutely mind boggling and absolutely fantastic. You know, I, I can I can bounce it off of a butterfly for a, for a softer effect, even though it, you're essentially u turning it into a hard unit. I can now use this on night exteriors um, and know that if the unit gets wet, that it can still live in a cherry picker or rigged on a back lot. It really is just a, a fantastic lamp because it enables me to have the same sort of number of lamps, but more control and it gives me a lot more creativity and a lot more sort of technical freedom on set. So if you actually want to feather the shadows a little bit, you can add another attachment here. Uh, with this attachment, you can, you can add a light diffusion And because it's rigid and it's not gel, it's, it's silent, so it keeps our sound department friends very happy. Um, and it's, it's robust. It's brilliant. I just can't wait to use it on my next show, to be perfectly honest. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm a Germany-based gaffer. 
and up until now you've seen the X21. But with the Sky Panel X, Ari is launching two more products, the X22 and the X23. And I'm going to show you right now. Put on the handle. The cool thing about this is we have here the quick release mounting system. So one person can mount any of that three. We are going for the X23 right now. As you probably guessed, because I have three lamps here. <laughs> and the last one. We have here the data daisy chain connectors. And on the other side on the back is the power supply. They connect as well, so it's a daisy chain. I'm gonna quickly connect the lamps. You can choose any of the two here. And the last one. So now Ethernet is connected. I'm gonna go for the power supply and connect it also. And the cool thing about this is you only need one power mains cable to achieve a very, very impressive output. What is important to know, you need only one yoke. A good thing to know also is that you need only one control panel. So I can remove these two. This is 100%. It's really a huge output and I'm just going to reduce it a little bit so we are not blinded to like, I don't know, 24. You can actually swap the optics. We now have three domes and I'm going to swap one. with a hyperoptic. So you can put all hyperoptics or two domes in one hyperoptic or whatever. It's very modular. It's like a very new way of lighting. It can be a very hard lamp, a semi-soft lamp or a very soft lamp. So Chimera is actually creating a huge softbox for the X23. So if you want it to be a very soft light, it can also be that. You could light a whole movie only with Skype and Axis. They are communicating so well with each other. You have no hue differences. The swapping is very easily, very fastly done. So yeah, you could just take the Skype and X and be done with it. But let's stop here. Uwe had the chance to play around with it a bit and let's see. That's the new baby, huh? Seems very strong. And now let's see if we fight. Yeah, against this one. This okay. side. And let's check when the 4K takes over. Now it's even stronger. It's more than At the least. halfway. Yeah, more than the halfway. It's crazy. <laughs> not bad. Yeah, that's really not bad. I'm going to show you something. <laughs> that will be uh, quite okay. a surprise. It's the shape okay. of the beam. It's roundish. That looks really nice. Yeah. Get a round beam out of yeah. a rectangular picture. And also the spill is quite cool. All the accessory that is uh, here, just to cut away uh, the spill light here on the side. This one, the accurate in the front. Oh. Yeah, and I would say let's try another soft option. Okay. Yes. That is a S60 adapter, so you can use all the accessories that you had with the X60. One daisy chain for me, please. Daisy chain it. Punchy. What I really like about it is that the light performs really well as a soft light like now and as we saw as a hard light mm. and I'd, maybe you can combine it i have a little idea and so you have maybe a little i don't know uh, it's like a kicker in, in the middle the kicker yeah. in the eye just have a little yeah. crisp light but not hard shadows you create some shadow but not you know you fill it up 
quite well over the surface. There might be a situation I use it. <laughs> I know. All right. All right, so. There's the frame. Let's, Let's build it. <laughs> OK. Now, now it's a party. Did you feel it in any way even 40? The 4K is not making it. it. Reminds me a little bit on a maxi boot or something. Huh? Yeah. On the it's very character. Strong. Push it up. Uh, wow. It's one beam. That's it? crazy. Unbelievable. Let's shoot it outside. I want to see shooting outside. There it is. Wow. And you don't need a generator wow. for it, because it's not a Dino. Exactly. So I think the next step should be to take a no. bigger bounce, also with a lamp head from the cherry picker to a 12 by 12, yeah, yeah. for example. And the flare is also nice in the camera, I guess. Yeah. So maybe we try to have a softer night light or moonlight. So let's switch the frame against the, the lamp of the light of the light source. Whoa. All right. Look at that. So now we fill up the whole place. Yeah. You can walk around, have soft backlights everywhere. And it's only possible with a light, small beam angle because you don't lose light on the edges of the frame. I think there's no other picture where you can create a light like this because the optics are so exact. Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. yeah. Really? And now I say you guys, good night. So you see, it can be soft or hard because it's modular and it's really easy to control. There is more to explore, like the IP rating or like the multiple rigging possibilities and also the very special Alexa modes. And we'll definitely do a tech talk on that one. You can also learn more about the Skype and Alex digital twin for virtual production. All that information and more at ari.com slash Skype and Alex. So, what do you think? <laughs>